guys, welcome back to Enigma Review. So guys, I did another TK Maxx, a few of these are three, four a click and collect. One is what I bought from eBay, but it was TK Maxx. And the others are, I think I've got them all, no, two different times I've gone in. Same shop, I didn't feel the need to do a walk around for this shop guys because you'd seen it already and I just thought you know why keep doing the same shop over and over again the stock hadn't changed massively so it, I didn't see the need of doing it again you've seen the same things that you've seen apart from a few things that had changed so let's do the click and collect first get that out of the way and then I can go into the eBay one and then we'll go into what I found inside the store gonna be a big one and my last one guys <laughs> I'm saying my last one because this is it for TK Maxx for me I, I personally don't want to get any more I've, I've got more than enough as you know I'm going to be moving soon I thought that I've got to wrap all these up and cart them to wherever I'm going and chances that I'm getting broke makes me feel a little bit nauseated so I, I possibly like really need to stop now right for TK Maxx do you remember I got the boots with the globe on top and it had the ghost, the witch and the skeleton in and on the boot I told you there was two bits missing off it which I thought was two little spiders turned out to be little characters so I did return that back to TK Maxx I got my money back and then I ordered it online as click and collect and it was well packaged up i've seen lots of horror stories lots of pictures of people's things being broken from not only click and collect the delivery service and even in store you know people you know staff breaking them by accident so mine came and click and collect it was well wrapped up guys really well wrapped up as you can see there is the characters off the boot. So there was the little man and the cat and then there was a little ghost on the boot. And to me that was quite a, a big lot of things missing from the boot. And when I found out that that was missing and not a spider what I thought it was, I was like, oh, I'm a little bit bummed out about this because it, you know, they didn't reduce it. So yeah, I got a refund and ended up we are doing it again i did have to play 199 click and collect because we didn't have the free click and collect then but you know this is the price you have to pay it does sing the same song as most of them do and it's ding dong the witch is dead so i'm not going to play it because it plays it on every single globe that i've got in front of me so i was happy i got that guys it's a really nice little globe big globe actually it's quite heavy um, I like this as well because it's got the little bats in there as well which gives it that little bit of feature as well so that was that guys which was $14.99 not $12.99 by the way um, then on click and collect I grabbed this one which is the book one I don't know what it is about books I got the owl on the book I think not last year the year before and then I got the skull book the same year as that at the same time and then obviously I bought the book this year and then I've got the haunted house on top of the spell books globe as well that the lovely moon which is um, Lair got for me last year because of the breakages and stuff and then obviously I seen this and I was like oh I got rid of that as well I think this I'm not sure if this has little yeah this has little bats in it as well which is really cute he sat on a throne Chesterfield chair and he's got some books on the floor with a little skull on it and then it's got a unit at the back filled with books and skulls the detail in this skull is lovely and then it's sat upon three books and it's a musical globe and it sings ding dong the witch is dead so yeah it does actually sing the same song as all of them uh, this was $12.99 guys, I had to play, kick, play, play, pay, play, 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 I had to pay click and collect for this as well, which was $1.99, but I grabbed this alongside something else, which we'll get to in there at some point, but I was happy I got this, because as you know, I do like my globes, 
the prices come off it. I do like my globes, so you know, I just have to stop buying globes now unless I saw the two that I really want, which I probably won't see them this year. But if I did see them, I would have to grab them because then that completes my my set that I wanted to get. But yeah, I got that because it's a whole book thing. And then again, I grabbed this and I paid $1.99 click and collect for this as well. And again, it was a skull on top of the books. You see what I mean? I just thought this went really, really well with that one. It's like matching it. So it could be that this is the, the skeleton guy. You see him in a small version there and then you see him on a big version here. I don't think there's bats in this one. I think this one is just glitter. Yep. So this one is just glitter. But it's lovely and it plays Ding Dong The Witch Is Dead. But this one was $9.99. Now the musical globes are normally $12.99 and $14.99. But this one was $9.99. Maybe people see this as being a little bit basic because there's just a skull in. And it's got a book saying Happy Halloween that he's leaning on. But I love it and I had to have it. So that is it for globes guys as far as I'm concerned. Like musical globes. I've got them three, I'm happy with them three. I've picked up in total this year, three, um, four, five, six. So I've had six globes this year. Last year I did one, two, three, four, four, five, six. So I did six globes last year, I've done six globes this year. Next year I'll probably do another six. You know, there's only so many globes I could have. Eventually when I'm in my own home, and it's my home and I own it and I can put anything wherever I want. I probably will get another glass unit. Then again, I don't know because putting heavy glass on top of glass may be a bit of a recipe for disaster. But I will get a unit for them all to go in. Anyway, moving on. Let's move on to my other click and collect, which was yesterday. I didn't pay any $1.99 fee for that because they had a offer where it's free click and collect for probably a whole weekend i personally my opinion they shouldn't charge you for click and collect at the end of the day you're collecting from their store so really between stores you should be able to communicate and be able to transport things back and forth without charging the customer to do it but unfortunately we do get charged 199 i'm not too bothered about it as long as i'm collecting something that's not broken if it's broken yeah, I'm going to be a little bit angry about it. I mean, we'll show my anger, but it wasn't. So I'm happy about that. I've seen a few people with this broken and I went on click and collect and I was like, oh, holy God, I hope mine's not broken. And I did actually check mine in store. I did walk away from them and I did go to the bottom of the store and I opened it up and I checked it and it was fine. It was, it was all intact. And then I took it out of the box and put it into my bag because I just could not physically carry a box as well as the bags that I had of stuff so I ended up throwing the box away but it was still well packaged within the box out of the box so I grabbed this haunted house now I've only got one of the houses so far and it just has a white light on it and obviously I've got the spell book with the haunted house inside it I've gone down the route of haunted house and I've got the other globe there that's got the haunted house in um i didn't want to get another thing niche where i was collecting you know it's bad enough that i collect hand stock fairies which are not cheap and i collect skulls which are reasonably cheap but you know there's only so many of these things that you can put around your home whether it being too much i i would like it all over my home personally but i know that ben Ben's more of a minimalistic kind of person. He doesn't like all this stuff around him. It irritates him. So for him, he feels like we've got enough decor and he doesn't personally doesn't want me buying anymore. And I can understand why, because we are trying to get on the property ladder at the minute. And if, if the wife keeps spending the money and accumulating bills, we're never gonna get on that ladder. So for that reason, this is why I've got to pull back now, guys. But I had to just at least get a few more to know that I was happy. So I'm happy with what I've got now as far as haunted houses go. Yes, you could go on forever and ever and ever, but I've had to draw a line at the TK Maxx haunted houses because the bigger they get, the more expensive they get, and the more I'm having to, yeah, find this money. So I grabbed this one. This was 9 dollars It's got the little witch that swings on there. 
It's all intact. The spider, I can't stand spiders, guys. I have a severe arachnophobia. And when I seen this on the camera, when Craig and Jen got it, and I was like, oh, I don't know if I like that spider, I might have to cut it off. It's actually not that bad, to be honest with you guys. I can deal with it. I've got plastic spiders that are on my shelf upstairs. Um, I can deal with this kind of thing. Um, if this was on the floor, though, I probably would freak out just thinking it was a real spider. But it's just on a little spring action. If you really don't like it, guys, you can actually pull that off. <coughs> it's got a pumpkin. <coughs> Sorry, guys, when I'm coughing. <coughs> It's hurt my back. I've got really bad pains in my back at the minute. So, but I love how this lights up. This is a colour changing one. I think it makes it look really creepy. Because it all, obviously it's changing from red to green, from green to orange. Sorry guys. Ah! Orange to yellow to blue. Very much like my strip lights that I have behind me and my colour changing fillet lights that I have on my unit there. Um, it takes the two smaller batteries. Is that the AAA batteries? I think it is. And this was 9 99 like I said, I've left a price on the bottom so you can see. I love it, it's cute, it's quirky, it's got a little graveyard here, pumpkin at the side, window at the side, um, and it has two, it has windows at the back as well, but you can't really see as much, and a star on top of the thing. These are resin ornaments, so these can actually break quite easily if you was to drop it. It has the tag on it that says lights up. I will probably just leave that. Oh, and it has, it has a little information on there as well. I'm just gonna take that off for now. And I'll just put that aside in case I ever decide that I don't want it anymore and get rid of it. But as far as I'm concerned right now, I love it, I'm keeping it. So that was on the complex guys. And as you can see, it was well packaged up. I will admit it was packaged extremely well. So there's no complaints on that one. So that was that. And then my eBay one, which I might as well do. I sent this on eBay. I couldn't see it in any of the shops and I really, really, really wanted it. Again, I seen Craig and Jen with it from Scabby 13 and I was like, oh, I like that one as well. There is another one that I like, which is the, it's got the witch on it. If I don't get that, I'm not too bothered about it. And there's a little one that I want. There is a two foot, uh, is a two foot one, very, um, very big probably too big for me i wouldn't know where to put it i couldn't i could probably put it on the fireplace but i want to try and keep all the houses together so i i'm just not bothered with any more but if i do see the other one online i will get it there's a chance that it will come online because all these have come online i've just missed out on getting them this one i got from ebay i paid 25.95 i think i paid 26 pound altogether um I have been told that this was actually $9.99 in TK Maxx. I would have thought this one was more like $15.99 or $19.99 because it is a little bit bigger than that one. But to be fair, I'm not bothered. It was extremely well packaged. This eBay seller knew what they were doing when it comes to selling these kind of items. It was securely wrapped, probably securely wrapped better than TK Maxx does wrap their items immensely. There was no way in the world that this was ever going to get broken with the way it was wrapped. So I was so chuffed with it. I waited a little bit longer for it because it was the eBay, uh, it was the bank holiday weekend and it kind of got stuck at the post office just before the bank holiday weekend. So I had to wait. But it soon as Tuesday morning came, it was there first thing and I was like, yay, loved it. Gave them positive feedback and just said that they're an amazing seller. So basically you've got a ghost that's up at the top of the roof tower. You've got a little bat that's on some kind of wire at the back. And then there's an owl sat upon the old oak tree with a rest in peace graveyard here, a skull, a pumpkin, a pumpkin with a fence design and a very old looking spooky house with lots of windows. At the back, there's no windows. It's literally just a plain house. And this has got a button action to turn on the light rather than one of them turn off, turn on jabos. This is just a button you just press in. And as you can see, it's really fast, color changing, off, on. And literally all the colors of the rainbow that you get with these strip lights. For the price I paid for this, I don't care. I love it, I absolutely love it. So that was that guys. So that is that that I got from TK Maxx as far as click and collect and eBay. Let's move on to what I actually grabbed from TK Maxx. Couple of times I'd gone 
I'm gonna grab these things guys so I didn't all buy these at once probably there's probably about three different time trips that I've gone first trip that I went on I did grab quite a lot of stuff so we'll just jump into that one first right so firstly I spotted these glass canisters and I was like I'm changing my kitchen completely as you know it's always been red retro camper van beach holiday hut style stripping all that away i'm getting rid of all the stuff if you're interested it is on my selling page let me know if you're interested and i will send that to you um but i'm stripping it all back because we're moving from this house it's not going to make any difference whatever house we move into i will be using all this decor and it's going to be a black and white kitchen so um they've got a skull on the top and it's just this I love this clip and clip and clasp design. I do actually have canisters at the minute that are just glass that have this clip and clasp design, which I will use for different other things. The only problem is sometimes it gets a little stiff. So it says here, this is the, um, it's the one litre 34 flow ounce glass cup jar top and it's from the Bake House and Co Company. So I either wanted three of these, which I could not find three, I could only find two. So I was a little bit like bummed out about that. Now, Lauren Griffiths from the Halloween page did say she could grab me them, but at the time I'd already spent up my money on other things and I didn't want her paying for it with her money. So I told her not to worry about it. Thank you anyway, and move on and do what she needed to do. But I grabbed two of them guys which were 3 dollars each. So you can see the 3 dollars But at the same time, I spotted these ones. Oh my God, why Rachel, why? Now, my lovely friend from Moon Witches Lure, she's recently contacted me to say that she grabbed two. One of them she's going to keep for herself. And was I interested in buying the other one? With it being glass, it's, uh, it's quite heavy. It's going to cost for postage and packaging, guys. So if you're going to buy from these pages, you've got to understand that you've got to pay for your postage and packaging. It doesn't come free. You've also got to pay a charge because it has to go through as um, a buyer. But I trust, I trust this lady 100%. She sent me that globe, the one that I was after that I had so many breakages with and I sent her a, a, a candle back in, in return to say thank you. Now I have actually got the pumpkin cup which was the match to the ghost cup. I'm happy about that, I'll throw a picture up here. So she's grabbed me that as well, I'm really happy about it. I've paid her already for that but now she's grabbed me this one as well so I've told her to hold on to it. I will pay her this weekend and sort out the fee and whatever you know that goes with it um i am going to put it through friends and family because i trust her if it gets broken it gets broken there's not much we can do about it it is what it is but i trust her she'll wrap this up really really well but again this was 3.99 so it's not really like the end of the earth if it gets broken it's only 3.99 so I'm, I'm all right about that so i've got two of them and because i've got the one from moon witch's lair that she's going to get me so i'll have three so this was going to be my tea, coffee and sugar canister. Now we do buy our coffee in bulk, so we can quite easily fill this up with the coffee. I use a lot of sugar, so does that, so I can easily fill one with sugar and I drink a hell of a lot of tea. I drink flavoured tea, so I can just mix and match with all flavoured teas in here and I'll be happy. So these are going to be tea, coffee and sugar. I'm actually going to get the things that you get, you know, the stickers that can go on in the gothic style. So I'm going to get that. And then the two black ones that I've got here, I'm going to fill with either um, pasta or with flour or anything that we need as a utensil in the kitchen. Maybe hot chocolate because that likes hot chocolate. Sorry guys, my camera died. It has a tendency of doing that a lot. So let's carry on where we left from. And I don't quite know where we left from guys, to be honest with you, but let's just get straight stuck in to the things we've got in the bag. So I've covered all the click and collect, the eBay, TK Maxx one, and yeah, covered all that. Next, we're gonna go to things I've grabbed while I've been in my TK Maxx at different times. Uh, I did go to film once, one of the time, and I decided not to because there was just 
too many people about and the staff was um, on the shop floor doing whatever they were doing so I just thought you know timing and so forth so right I can't say which order but the bulk of the things I'll get I got at the same time and they must have just brought things out from the back and decided to get that out it was that day it was it was quite a lot of stuff had been put out and that's the day I really should have filmed because it had all new stuff on the shelves but unfortunately I left my GoPro at home and my camera on my phone, my video, my battery was really low and I thought I need to keep that so I can contact them when I need to come home. So yeah, anyway let's get stuck in. So they had lots of homeware stuff out and I decided to go and have a look and grab some. First things I grabbed was these two which is the two piece ceramic salt and pepper shaker set. These were 3 dollars I know I've bought the haunted house ones, guys, or the house ones, but I never succeeded in finding the biscuit jar and I gave up on the biscuit jar weeks ago. Um, what am I gonna do with the others? I'm not too sure yet, I haven't decided, but these are definitely going in my kitchen. Um, new kitchen that I'm gonna be doing. Um, it's gonna all be black and white keeping a black and white theme throughout pretty much yeah no color just black and white and this one says witches brew and this one says zombie brew so they've got skull heads on the top and they're actually bottles and you can see at the bottom where you can pull out and put in your salt and pepper this one is i'd say this one's your salt and this one's your pepper or whichever you want really they've got two holes at the top there and three holes I'd probably say the salt's more on the two hole than the three. But yeah, they look really good. Guys, they had absolutely loads of salt and pepper pots. I could not make my mind up. They had gold pumpkins, orange pumpkins, um, three different types of skulls, Day of the Dead skulls. They had witches hats. They had cat and witches hats. Um, they had so much when it came to this and I really couldn't decide. And I was like, oh, um, oh, uh, and then I thought, if I'm going to have skulls in my kitchen, then it, it just makes sense to get skulls. So that's what they look like, guys. I'm going to put them on my table now, even though these are actually for when I move. But I might as well just put them out now and then I can wrap them up and put them away all together with the actual kitchen. Um, alongside that day and that haul, she had a trolley. And she had a few things on a trolley and I decided um, to have a look on the trolley. She didn't mind. She said I could go and have a look. And I seen these two guys and I was like, oh, I'm a sucker for candle holders. I've just got rid of loads of candle holders because obviously I've gone completely goth throughout my house. As before, it was more like I had a retro kitchen and in the living room, it was all black, red and gray and I've changed it up. It all used to be fairies. Now I've got all kinds of stuff in here. But I just thought these are cute to have all year round. They're really heavy, really good and sturdy. And they were only $1.99, guys. Just put your tea lights inside. I've actually got these placed on my piano next to my burner and it, they just look really cute lit up at night. So I probably will be moving these somewhere else um, when we move. But, you know, for now they're on the piano and I like them there. So they were one ninety nine each and I was like, well, I don't mind paying one ninety nine. I did say to a lady, I said, they've got some stuff on the trolley if you want to go and have a look. And she was like, yay, ran all the way up. Right, in that same one, because I've done two separate little hauls, not hauls, just grabs basically. So I'm just gonna put them in a separate one. This is all one grab. I did all this at the same time, so I might as well go through it. I spotted this and I was like, I can't not get that. I would have preferred to have a skull one because I wanna go with the whole skull theme but they didn't have any skulls. This one was 3 99 And this is what you put, is it a ladle? Where you put your, your ladle spoons in and what have you. I'm actually gonna use these for teaspoons because in my house, I drink fruit tea, Ben drinks coffee, and Zach drinks normal tea or hot chocolate. And we use different spoons for everything. We've all got our own spoon. I've got skull spoons. I have the black skull spoon, which is usually for my tea, silver spoon, Skull silver one is for Zach and one's for Ben but this is just to put that on I have said to Ben don't put my tea bags on here or I'll get really cross um, I've got an old 
teapot thing which is a tea holder so you can put all the tea bags in there and I just tip them in the bin but yeah I had to have it they had a couple actually a couple of these but none was skull and I was like okay ghosts will do and it'll be even it was black and white and I just thought it'll go in my kitchen even if it is not a skull related item right I wrapped this up they didn't wrap it up very well which I wasn't impressed about and I gave her this wrap because I just picked something up from Click and Collect and I took it out the click and collect because I'd gone home and come back because I couldn't carry all the stuff. And um, I gave her this to wrap this up in so she didn't break it. So I spotted this and Rachel, being Rachel, ran and grabbed it quick because I was like, yes, it needs to go in my kitchen. Yes, it's not skull related, but I didn't see any of these in, in any other design but the spiderweb design. But it's still black. It's still part of what I'm going for. Um, I paid... $5.99 for this guys and it's quite a, a full size utensil holder so as you can see it says at the bottom utensil holder Ooh, it's massive it's absolutely massive I've got a lot of utensils um Ben is the chef in my house I don't do any cooking Ben does all the cooking I used to do the cooking until my back went um I can't stand for long enough to do cooking in my kitchen anymore I can go in there and sit in my chair and make a sandwich of a couple of crackers and cheese but I can't physically stand and cook and bend down for the cooker and everything else Ben does all that so I think he'll appreciate this with the amount of utensils that we've got we've got him in a silver holder at the minute and the cat off it in and they really do get on Ben's nerves they're actually all red my utensil because all my kitchen was white and red and I've changed it all now so I, I am going to be buying all new utensils we'll keep the red ones as spare if we need them but I'm going to fill this up with normal utensils. I have seen some cake utensils in TK Maxx for baking and stuff, like skull ones, and they're $6.99. I'm gonna go in and grab them um, probably next month now, but they can go inside here. So well worth the price of $5.99, guys. So I was happy about that. And then they had lots of chopping boards. They had some plastic ones. And I wanted this one because it seemed like a really sturdy and a very thick chopping board. Um, I got the Cambridge Poison Skull Paddle chopping board. Now, I did have the pink skull one in my hand, but it was pink and I put it back because I was like, no, I'm not into the pink. And then I picked a bat one up and I thought there's just too much mishmash of bats, skulls, ghosts. It was confusing. If they had a ghost one, I would have picked it up. If they had a skull one that was black and white, I would have picked it up, but they had none left. But I picked this one up, guys. This one was. $5.99, yep, $5.99. It's a proper thick, sturdy chopping board. And I think Ben will probably appreciate this, but for a little while, I'm just gonna have this as a display item for a little while because Ben will probably annihilate it and I'll be like growling. So yeah, I've got a chopping board to go with my school inspired kitchen. I am going to be doing, like I said, a black and white kitchen when I move into my forever ever 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 home for now whatever if we're going to be in private rented I will not go to the effort of decorating like I did with this house we've been here nearly 10 years but if we're moving into our forever ever house we might be getting a mortgage I will be decorating that kitchen in black and white with skulls and I want to see if I can get like a, a skull splash back as well anyway I'm waffling right moving on um I didn't see any skull ones again so I thought well we've got a bit of a ghost theme going on why not carry it through so i got these and they're 4.99 the only thing that bummed me out a little bit was it's just one and the one other one's just plain white i feel a bit cheated about that they should both if if this is skull or a, a ghost they should have at least have at least one embroidered ghost on there it's just a cheap cheap white one i can buy them anywhere i can't buy these anywhere if they do any more of these and I do find some skull ones, I will buy the skull ones. But yeah, they were 4 99 and I thought at least it's a start, I suppose. And then everybody's been grabbing them, so I thought I might as well jump on the bandwagon. I'll need these if I'm going to do any baking, which I do do baking with Zach. Uh, at least I can measure out properly and weigh things. So these are the Cambridge... Um, Weighing scales, as you can see, they match the chopping board. I would have liked to have got a whole match of everything. So if they did like a plate set in this, possibly salt and pepper pot, anything, 
I would have been really, really happy. But yeah, I got this. Now, Ben was quite happy to see these. These were 9 99 guys. We've never owned any scales in our kitchen. Ben just guesses. <laughs> so I think he was, it was something for Ben, basically. Seeming he likes to bake, he likes to cook. And I thought, you know, why not grab this? Because I know he'll like it. I know you've all probably seen this before. And, but I thought, I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah, so it's pretty. So it's a good standard size. It's a round weighing scale. And it'll go with the rest of my accessories in my kitchen. I do have a lot of stuff in my kitchen. A lot of accessories. A lot of cooking things. So some of that I won't get rid of. Some of that I'll be keeping. And then I got this with Click and Collect, guys. Thought I'll jump in with this. So this was in the Click and Collect. I think it was 5 dollars It's, as you can see, a bowl. And it's the graveyard one. Um... I like to eat a lot of pasta, so I thought it would be me. I did try and grip two of these guys, but there was only one, and I grabbed the one just because there was only one left. What I did, I put one in my basket, and then when I went back to get the other one, it was snatched up. They sell so quick, these things, guys. It's unreal. Right, moving on to a next haul I did, and I'll do it in order. I seen this little dude on his own, and I thought, well, he'll go really nice in my kitchen. So... This little ghosty um, candle, just put your candle in there and it lights up and I just thought, how oh, cute is he? And he was um, 3 99 guys. If there was two, I would have probably grabbed the other one and had two and have them one at one end of the windowsill. But there was only one in there. If I do get to see another one, I'll probably grab another one because for 3 99 they're not that badly priced and it's, it's quite a good size. So yeah, he goes with my rest of my school things right and this is the last thing that i grabbed and i made a mistake again i do it every time i had two of these i put one back because um i decided to go and have a look around the store and then not think about it and when i come back from thinking about it it's gone so there you go right so that's what you get for not acting fast i do it every time but i only grabbed one of these i did want to get two i wanted one for me and one for ben these were 2 99 and it says till death do us part and this is the royal stafford set this is the set i think that my sister said was in the rochdale store but when my dad went to see the next day it would all gone it's a shame my sister didn't ring me and said i've got the whole set here and i could have just wired her the money but never mind so i've got one plate one plate, one one skull. They're all kind of skull related in one way or another. I've been collecting a lot of the plates along the way. I've got a fair few now. I've got the, the one, the apothe the oh yeah. The one with all the bottles and stuff in the window and the rats and stuff. Now I didn't make the mistake with these ones, so I grabbed two of these because these are the actual proper dinner plates. I think this is what my sister was on about. This is the Royal Stafford, like I said. These were 3 dollars and I grabbed one for me, one for Ben. These plates are a little bit too big for Zach. He'd probably feel a little bit over face if I got one for Zach. But I got two, one for us. Um, I would have liked to have got two of that. I'm trying to get two of everything so it's me and Ben because I've already bought Zach's from the first one that I went to. But never mind. You live and learn, guys. Live and, learn. Um, and then last but not least, for my kitchen, I found this. Now, the skull one had gone. I did look for the skull one. The only one they had then was, um, I think it was a hand going round a ball kind of thing. A, like a witch's hand. But it is skull hands. And I thought, well, it's still kind of skull related. Just, it's a black pumpkin. And this is from Cross Skill, I think it's called. And this was $8.99, guys, and it's a good for weight. I have got two of these upstairs <coughs> from previous years of TK Maxx hauls. That is it, guys. That is it. I've actually had the cup, like I said, um, from Moon, Moon Witch's Lair and the other canister. Will I buy more from TK Maxx? Probably not now, guys. If I'm going to buy anything else from TK Maxx, it's not going to be globes or anything like that. It will probably be either plates, not cups, I've got enough cups. Either plates or bowls or dishes or anything like kitchen utensils. Anything like that that I can put towards my kitchen. Even tea towels. Yeah, that'll be it. Maybe some glasses. I've seen some spooky glasses in Next that I might 
In fact, I'm going to grab them. I'm going to pay for my first order and then I'm going to put them on my order and grab the spooky glasses and the placemats because I think they'll all go together in my kitchen. All right, guys, what's your favourite item? Pop it down below. Sorry it wasn't a walkthrough, but I think I had way too much stuff to do a walkthrough as well. All right, guys, I'm going because my throat's hurting. Take care and I'll see you on my next video. I won't say my next haul just in case there's not a haul. All right, guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. subscribe button hit the notification bell and hit that like button if you like this video because it helps me out and my channel take care guys and i'll see you on my next one bye for now